What is up, you guys? It is your boy Gian here from Poopa Plot. Welcome back to another Farming Simulator 19 video here on the Xbox One. How is everybody doing today? Welcome in to Farm Sim 19 here on the flat map. The flat map. I appreciate y'all tuning in. How's it going today, guys? Starts. <laughs> We need to start. We need to start something, guys. We need to start something. What are we gonna start? Hmm. Hmm. I wonder. I wonder. I wonder. I wonder what we're going to start, guys. Come on, load. Thank you. Thank you. I need the long pipe for sure, right? We're gonna lease this, by the way. We're gonna lease it. We are starting our Karn Chaff Matic. <laughs> 4,000, I don't know. Something like that. We are starting it off, guys, right here today. We are going to do it. Uh, we want the 9 meter head. Heck yeah, buddy. Heck yeah, man. I don't mean to cuss, but heck yeah, Hannah Montana. Let's go. Oh, yeah, we bought corn heads, too. I forgot about that. Oh, goodness. So, welcome back after being away for like a week or so, guys. I do appreciate y'all clicking on the video. Welcome in. Sorry about ghosting. Uh, I talked about it in the Madison County video today, but I feel like not everybody probably watches that one. So I will talk about it here in this video as well. Life got busy between Thanksgiving, Christmas lights, snowman project. And uh, did I say Thanksgiving? Yeah, that too. So it's just everything kind of hit at once. Uh, my dad and I were basically living at the farm for the past week or so. And I just didn't have time to work on on, on YouTube videos and I missed a couple streams uh, those nights we uh, those nights I missed streams I believe we didn't get home till like 1030 at night there were a couple of nights where we stayed at the farm till like 1030 guys working on the snowman project so yeah basically what what, what was going down uh, while I was away guys is I would either be um, working on Christmas lights I would be at the farm or I was making, uh, or I was be sleeping and I just didn't have, I just didn't have the, uh, what's it called? The energy to stay up late and make these uh, videos. Like I had been doing, I had been staying up late and making videos and then, you know, it was working. It was working. And basically if I recorded one video a night, it was, it was working out. Uh, but I just wasn't able to do that anymore. So. Yeah, because I, I really needed sleep, guys. I really needed sleep occasionally. And uh, yeah, so I'm sorry about that. But this is uh, the second video of me coming back. There will be a stream on YouTube tomorrow and on Monday. And then uh, we'll be jumping back into this map and hopefully firing up some... Uh, uh, the Minecraft series will be coming back. I don't know if it's coming back this week or next week. I'm not sure yet. Or next week or week after. Daytime streams are going to be coming back hopefully on Tuesday. Tuesday and Thursday. Daytime streams coming back. It's going to be fantastic. It's going to be awesome. And uh, I'm glad to be back in. And I'm glad that you guys understand that, you know, I had to take a little time. It wasn't necessarily planned time away. It just kind of happened. And if nothing else, it kind of, you know, recharged the batteries in a way. And it was very nice to take a little bit of time away from it all. I'm not going to lie. Uh, get away from some of the drama that's going on in TeamSpeak, which is just awesome. Cough, cough, not at all. I really just, I really don't like dealing with drama. And uh, I need the players involved to just calm down. A little bit. <laughs> Calm down. They're listening to Kids Bop. All right. Kids Bop Karen. But um, yeah, so it was kind of good to get away from everything and everything like that. I was going to take a bunch of time off around Christmas and New Year's. I don't think I'm going to do that right now. Uh, I might take just a little bit of time around Christmas and New Year's. I haven't even looked. What day? Okay, I know what date Christmas and New Year's are. They're the 25th and the 30th, 30th and stuff. But, or 31st, no, 30, no, 31st. <laughs> so I might take off like, 
It really depends on what the family wants to do. I know I'm going to my brother's like Christmas Day. Um, and I know I'm hanging out at my sister's house Christmas Eve. It's Christmas Eve's a Tuesday. So I'll probably miss like that daytime stream. I don't know. We'll we'll see. It's a little early to be um put my phone down. A little early to be talking about like what I'm going to miss, but I'm, I'm hoping to only miss some streams during that instead of, you know, missing the stuff too. So there is that. But yeah, guys, starting our silage project here, we're probably only going to run until we get a bunker. Um, cause if we get a bunker full, like that's a lot, that's a lot. I know the shape of these bunkers is kind of weird. They're real wide, not real tall. And we'll have to get a wheel loader over here as well to uh, do some pushing. Push it real good. You know what? That trailer holds a, or that truck holds a lot more than I do. Let's try to just use the truck. Not so much the trailer. I'll go for a tab real fast. Do, 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 do. This is our tractor. Where's our little arms? Where's our arms? Oh, they're up there. Okay. I don't know where they are, Captain. I don't know who. No, no, but I do appreciate you guys watching. How's how was your how was your uh, life? How's it been going, guys? Did I bugger these up and I'm not gonna be able to hook up to them? Come on now. Come on now. We did have during my little break. We had a. Crazy, crazy little windstorm. Wasn't little at all, actually. We have. I'm gonna have to. Oh no! I just had the hook. I just had it. Come on. Wait. What? Wait. What? Come on. <laughs> this is not how you're supposed to do this, guys. This is not how this is supposed to work. Hey, guess what though? I got it. And that's all that matters sometimes. Get off my fork. And you can go for a ride, you freeloader. You freeloader. Oh, jeepers. All right, now I definitely need to get that out of the way. Uh, we will haul all of these someday, guys. Not too worried about them. Same thing with our mill. We'll get to that. Ah, uh, but we had a windstorm. We had 68 mile an hour wind gust in the St. Louis officially. And uh, that's a little aggressive considering I had a yard full of Christmas decorations. I'm just saying I did lose two. Uh, I lost two ornaments. They fell out of my tree and I'm kind of thinking one of the neighbors picked them up and put them on like my front porch because uh, there's no way they would have ended up on my front porch from the wind so I'm thinking one of the neighbors picked them up I don't know who uh, that's not what I want to do come on if it was you I appreciate it but I don't know who it was so one of the, one of my neighbors uh, I'm assuming picked him up because I, I would imagine one of them was in the street if not both of them were in the street so <laughs> Uh, kind of unfortunate, but hey, what are you going to do, right? What are you going to do? It happens, guys. It definitely happens. What are you going to do? What are you going to do, right? All right, so we turned. Okay. Sorry, y'all. I've got like 18 things going over here at once. Sorry about that. Okay. My it's three o'clock right now. My Christmas inflatables had just turned on and I don't want them to turn on until I'm out there with them today because oh, it rained and so they're wet and I like to just be out there with them. So I just turned them back off. <laughs> but after this video, I got to head outside for a little bit and work on the lights. I don't have a ton to do. I have a, a tree that needs uh, some additional lights put on it because some of them crapped out already. And then what else do I have to do? Just kind of make sure everything's looking good facing the street. Cause tonight's really the first night of the show. It is black Friday right now when I'm recording this and tonight's going to be like the, 
the real first night i had him on last night for about 15 20 minutes that was it and then uh, like i said tonight will be the first night turn on at five o'clock going till uh 10 30. five to ten normal and then sat at friday and saturdays it'll go till uh, 10 30 so definitely need to get out there and you know i always joke that i have to grease my christmas lights i don't know why but that's always the joke so i guess i have to go grease my christmas lights basically and uh yeah so have to get to that here after a while once i get this video done uh for you guys but uh until then christmas lights have been coming along quite well i know i've talked a lot about them in this series so i might as well keep yipping about them they've been coming along <laughs> uh very slow process this year the weather was just not cooperating um and then like i was talking about in the madison county series I had to put light, new lights on eight things uh, between snowmen and, and um, deer. All stuff that I had, all stuff that was incandescent, um, all got upgraded to LEDs because uh, ain't nobody got time for incandescents anymore. If I'm going to add or replace anything in the display, it is going to be LED at this point. I just don't like doing incandescents anymore. They're too uh they they require too much power they get hot which that doesn't really concern me but they re they require too much electricity so i'm trying to cut down on the power consumption which it's really not that bad you might think it's really really bad it's really not it's really not that bad so i think last year and actually i want to do that today too is basically turn everything on and then we have one of those like kilo kilowatts you plug in and then you can plug stuff into it and it'll tell you how much it's using. And I want to do that today. Last year I was using like 26 amps and I'm not sure what I'm actually at this year. So I want to figure that out. So we will figure that out, uh, hopefully today. And I'll let you guys know in a future video, kind of where we're at, how much we're actually using and, uh, good stuff like that. So. So yeah, all in due time though, guys, all in due time. We'll get that all figured out. Basically I walk around with a kilowatt and an extension cord, so plug that into the extension cord and then I can walk around and unplug each cord individually. And then it'll tell me how many amps it's drawing. And then I punch that into my phone so I can keep track. And then, uh, basically add it all up and Hey, that's how much power I'm using. So last year, like I said, it was around 26 amps for everything should be less this year because i did replace quite a few incandescents with uh with leds with those eight things that i stripped off and put new new leds on so the goal would be by next year to go ahead and replace all the deer that i have because let's see there's only one more small deer i didn't replace the lights on i actually fiddled with its lights and got them working and then there's three now four big deer that i have the goal would be to convert it 100% to LED for next year. All those, all those deer. I did kind of go a little crazy when I was purchasing lights. Um, you know, when you go on the internet and you just go beep, boop, bop, boop, beep, and, and then they show up at your house a couple days later. Um, you, you can go a little crazy, like really fast. Because you enter a number into the beep, boop, bop machine and you don't realize how many strands you've just ordered. I might have ordered 30 sets of lights. <laughs> now, I will tell you guys that this year between the snowman project and me ordering all these lights to replace incandescents, uh, it's actually the most lights that we've ever purchased new in a year. Normally we go out after Christmas and we buy a bunch of lights, you know, on sale, whatnot. But the past two years, like I was talking about in a, in a past video, uh, the past two years, I haven't been able to shop at all because of everything going on. You guys know everything with mom and everything. Um, so it's been, it's been kind of hard to, you know, to have new lights when you don't go out and shop. So definitely need to go out this year and get like an inflatable or two, hopefully on sale, if not more. Um, I, I've got a few gaps in the yard that could be filled by an inflatable or something. And, uh. I think we'd be good to go then but uh 
yeah it's just kind of interesting um all the lights that i had to pick up this year i went a little crazy buying the lights i, I wasn't sure how many strands i was going to need so i'm like hey 30 sounds like a great number let's buy those <laughs> and then like two, three days later they show up from menards and you're like oh my god i just bought 30 strands of lights <laughs> like that's a lot of lights <laughs> And then that moment when you only go through like 10 strands of your 30 strands of lights. Um, whoops. <laughs> Actually, I don't even know if I went through 10 strands because most of the things, yeah, some of those deer have two strands, but most of them I was only putting like one strand on. Because see, with the LEDs, to me, you can cut down on your amount of lights too because they're brighter and they look better. So you need less lights. So there's that as well. But it's all good. It's all good. So, yeah. All right. Dump, dump, dump. Let's go. You get a pile going here, guys. Got to get a pile going. Eventually, we'll be backing in from the other end, you see. That's what we'll do eventually. We'll back in just the way we're facing and just pile it up. As high as we can get it. Then we'll get in here with a wheel loader with a leveler and a leveler down and go at it from there guys but this is going to be a process i will hopefully work on this i will hopefully work on this a bunch off of uh recording as well because i know this is this is kind of lame what we're doing so i realize it guys i recognize it and uh, i'll try not to make too many videos of, of doing this basically so i think we're gonna get to the point where we will harvest the corn for corn too i don't think we're gonna need all this for, for chaff so because remember all we're trying to do is get the cows breeding enough and, and at a decent clip where we can uh, get our achievement for cows i think it's like 50 cows or something we need um i think it's something like that isn't it that's not what I want. I want farm sim and then I want locks. Missions, missions, trees. 20 cows. Breed 20 cows. Okay. Is that the only cow one? Yeah. 20 cows. That's all we need is 20 cows, guys. That's it. That's it. Why do we not have the sheep going? I wonder. Anyway, whatever it's all good it's all good but yeah so we need our we need our achievements because remember that's kind of the underlying tone of this of this let's play is to get some achievements go ahead and try to complete the game we will not be able to get the logging ones here because i'm not going to plant trees uh to cut down and you know go at it like that but uh it's okay so yeah i don't know how much uh, you know we might as well try to fill a bunker if we ever use all of that i will be surprised <laughs> <laughs> to be honest so i might have to have um my buddy dom come in and help me out if you guys are wanting to join because I, I do open this map up occasionally in mp and it's mostly like late-ish at night but if you guys are wanting to join the, the team team speak is key because if i'm gonna do this usually i'm in team speak at the same time hanging out so if if anybody's interested in uh, joining the map here on console xbox that is you know you want to join occasionally I'm, I'm i would definitely open it up for this project uh, i could see getting another forge harvester running uh somewhere else in the field or maybe even running two of them tandems with like two trucks or three trucks or something i could totally see that you know i do have money to play with as far as leasing equipment so if you guys are interested i don't know when it would be um but it would be probably late at night or maybe like Monday afternoon. Probably Monday afternoon. Yeah, we'll see. We'll see though. Still kind of busy with the snowman project. So don't know how much free time I'm going to have to work on, uh, work on this kind of stuff, but it's all good, I guess. Right. It's all good. I feel like the other harvester goes faster, by the way. I really feel like the other, the smaller harvester goes faster. I think there's a glitch with this one. I know I have the big head on this one, but I'm pretty sure the other one goes faster with the same head. I could be wrong. I might have to lease the other one just to see now. This thing's going a solid five miles an hour. So yeah, a solid five. 
<laughs> it should be going faster. But that's okay, I guess. It is what it is, guys. It is what it is. Not a big deal. But anyway, yeah, we're definitely going to get to that point where that bunker is going to be full. At least that's the hope. Anyway, get the bunker full and then chant transition into um, harvesting the corn to harvest the corn and sell it. So there's that. There is that. But yeah, so I think guys, I'm going to go ahead and call this video here because this is literally all I'm going to do. And uh, I need to get outside and work on those lights a little bit so I can be done in time for a stream this evening, uh, which is yesterday for you guys. Uh, we'll be streaming again tonight. Make sure you guys tune in that twitch.tv slash It won't be a 6 p.m. stream. It's going to be late because of a birthday party. I have to attend, but make sure you guys tune in and come say hi and be like, yo, I, I came from the, oh God, there's a fencer. Be like, yo, I came from the Xbox flat map series. Cause uh, you'll be extra cool. If you come from this series over to the YouTube or to the Twitch, that's what it's called. Twitch that TV slash boom about link is in the description in case you guys are curious. I'm just saying it's there. This, this, this seems like it'll buff out, right? Seems like I might get stuck here too, but you know, whatever, right? <laughs> it's all good. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. I think we're going to call out the video right there. Thank you guys so much for watching. Have a great rest of your day. And as always, the toodles.